So it says here, what are some examples of direct variation in real life? So what are some examples of direct variation? What are some examples of, and this is the term, direct variation in real life? So what are some direct examples or some examples of direct variation in real life? So what would, so let's define this term first. What does direct variation mean? Direct variation. Again, um, I have the solution here. It says direct variation is defined as two variables which increase or decrease at a constant rate. This constant rate, rate is denoted as k. So this is a good solution in terms of that. It's a good uh, mathematical expression because they're using this term k, which defines some sort of constant slope or constant increase or decrease. But I can also say if I say if it's a constant, constant increase or constant rate of increase, of increase or decrease, and they denote it as as this k term. Then actually, this is really ugly. Let me uh, uh, decrease. So what I can also say is I can also say that these two terms are proportional, right? They're proportional to each other, right? So again, constant rate of increase and decrease, again, just means that I'm increasing something at a constant rate or I'm decreasing something at a constant rate. So what would that, what would that mean in terms of a real life? What does that mean in real life? So uh, they used, uh, I'm gonna see what example here. So it says here, they used uh, examples of variation of life, motorcycle with X covers distance Y in hour, speed is increased and distance will be more in the same amount of time, right? So again, using this uh, example of, I live in, I live in, uh, I live Ontario in Toronto. So in terms of uh, kilometers per hour. So I can say that if you're driving 60 kilometers per hour, um, it's saying that in one, in one hour, in one hour, I travel 60 kilometers, right? Which means in, you can say in three hours or something like that, I would travel and I would just simply do three multiplied by 60 here, right? So to get 180 kilometers, right? That's the same thing. So they're, they're, it's proportional, right? In this case, I can write down um, one over three. In this case, so this is hours by hours equals, again, 60 by 180, right? So again, this here is my proportion, right? Or another example of a, uh, of a direct variation would be like I'm um, adding like um let's say uh one cup of water of water per um uh, one kilogram of flour or something like that flour so if I want to make if I had three cups or let's say five cups of water of water I remember writing is really bad. Then I would have five cup, five or five kilograms of flour. Right? So again, it's very it, they're directly. These here are directly, directly, directly variated or directly proportional, right? Because I got this factor one, one and five is I'm multiplying the the thing by five. Same here, I'm multiplying each side by five. In this case, I was multiplying each side by three and this side by three, right? So again, these things are directly uh, pr they're proportional, but they're also uh, directly they have direct variation. So again, this year's solution is correct, right? I only looked at the first one, but the solution is very, very good. So uh, it says we were going to some examples, and they gave an example here. I'm going to say perfect solution and analysis.